So in this video, I'm updating a previous one to show you how to add a image background to your Word document. Previous, this is a newer version of um, Word since I met, made the last video. Uh, this is um, off, I'm actually working with Office 2016, um, but it should be very similar on uh, no matter what edition you're using. Uh, so the the best way to do this is to your insert tab up here. Um, you're looking for watermark, and so if you click on watermark. Uh, you'll get options. You can actually use text as a background, and that will place the um, background text right there. You can even uh, make that larger or smaller uh, based on your needs. Um, you can, um, if you're using text, you can control the transparency uh, to make it kind of fade away or fade in. Um, change the font and all that, orientation, you can have it going diagonal. Uh, but we're talking about photos, so I'm going to click on the picture here, and I'm going to select um, just a photo I have on my desktop. Um, I'm going to hit that in there. And you see by default it is washed out. Uh, you can barely see it in there, so if I unclick washed out, now you can kind of see it. Uh, but if you're going to have anything kind of over top of it, you probably want it washed out. Um, you can also mess around with the scale. That made it gigantic there, but maybe you know, 50% there. That takes up all. You can mess around uh, with the percentage, and you can actually even put in your own percentage in there to override. Um, you can click on wash out again. Now um, hit OK, and you'll see I have an, an image there. Um, but the one thing is, you see, I have two different pages here, and the same image is on both page, both pages. And if you wanted to just maybe just have this on your intro page and nothing on your um, other ones, or maybe a different one, this is not a good option because this is going to be on every page that you have. Um, so in that instance, um, what you're going to do is click no watermark, get out of there. I'm going to go from file just easier for me to find that same image. All right, I'm going to hit insert. And so by default, it pushes all the text around, right? And so let's say I'm going to cut it and put it back up on top of my first page. And let's say I go right in here. And by default, yeah, it kind of pushes the text either up and down around it. Um, but if I select that image, um, see, I went to arrange, and then I'm going to wrap text, and I'm actually going to hit behind text. Okay, and so now this, for all intents and purposes, works um, like a background. Uh, so I could, you know, all my text, I can kind of just type right over it, um, and that's no problem at all. And that way, I now have a background, so I can select this and even make it you know, stretch out to take up the whole page if I want. And you see how my text is kind of over top of it. Um, so that's when there's nothing on the other page. So that's one way to kind of uh, make a, um, a pseudo background image just for one page that doesn't appear on um, successive pages, um, future pages. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and please subscribe.